many episodes ago I built this little pile here with Lincoln. I think Mav was with me. It was a long time ago. And I'm finally getting around to burning it. And I guess the reason I finally am now getting around to burning it is because it's just a really dangerous area to burn. We're in the, my woods and there is a lot of kindling everywhere. There's just a lot of brush, dangerous brush. So why am I burning it today? Because this is a, it's rained five inches in the last 30 hours or so. The ground is extremely wet, extremely wet. And there's never been a better time than now to burn this pile right here. Got the little area around it cleared enough. Thinking about Lincoln and I sleeping out here tonight. Maybe over here. Thinking about taking the same tent that Lund and I took on our mission trip together. If I can convince Lincoln to sleep, it's going to be about 30 degrees tonight. If I can convince him to sleep out here with me, uh, we'll, we'll just watch the fire all night. I'm probably 10 minutes into the burn now. Looking good. Going around kind of picking up some stuff on the ground, wood on the ground. Taking care of business. All right, status update. I got Uncle Johnny over here with me now. And we have been hauling brush for what, about an hour? Two, hour and a half? Hour and a half. I don't know if you can tell how good this looks now. We have gotten so much stuff off the ground. Uh, and it looks good. And we're just, you know, a little, little country therapy, don't you think? Yeah. It's like therapy being in the woods, right? My favorite. Yeah, I think Mavi's on his way over here with my mom. You put it in there, buddy? Yeah. Get some sticks? Good. Thank oh. you. Look. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Got some white shoes, Baba. I know. We need boots, but he doesn't like his boots. I no, have the shoes. He loves his boots. Maybe it's just I have uh, to, maybe I have to show him. Remember the last time we were camping and what? I had Crocs on when we were working? No, you have Crocs again, huh? He likes They're by the antro He him. likes Lincoln's boots because he can slip them on easier. Oh, uh, he... they're too hard to put on for yes. him. Gotcha. Remember I got bit by ants and I had to go back? Yeah, I remember. Look at what we got here. Get that side secure? Yes, sir. Okay. It's a good job. It's really tight. It's a great job. So, this is the same tent that your sister and I used on the mission. Tonight, it's going to serve a good purpose because we're going to be about 30 degrees out here. It's going to be a little chilly. It's going to be a little chilly. <laughs> uh, but we'll be warm in here. Get the fire going. I'm trying to. Well, oh, that's good. That'll get it. There's a lot of wood burned today. Just need to get uh, maybe a couple, couple more, and then getting that old tin over there. All right. Oh, this is super cozy. How you feeling? Good. Yeah, me and Sissy, uh, we got, we had this little. This little routine down pretty good. Except for we were burning up about 95 degrees and now here we are freezing in our sleeping bags. <laughs> but uh, super comfy. Yeah. Night night. Night night. <laughs> Got really cold last night. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, colder than 30 degrees. Really cold. <laughs> I woke up, I was like, Lincoln, I gotta get the fire going. He's like, I'll help you. <laughs> it's like 6 o'clock. I'll help you. Very different than camping in Latin America. Can't wait to get that coffee going. Fire feels good, though.
Instagram and I decided I needed to film for the Smiths. We have now reached the stage where Maverick is climbing out of his crib. He wears a sleep sack normally, but now he, is, he knows how to take it off. Because he knew how to take it off, we flipped it around backwards, thinking that that would deter him. It did for a little bit until he learned how to crawl out of the crib. Now it does not deter him. I have a little bit filmed on my phone. It's gonna show up vertical, but I'll have Paul put that right here. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, let's go. We gotta take a nap. Come on. You're not supposed to get out of your crib. Come no. on, baby. Come on. No. Yes, sir. No. We're going there. No. <laughs> so currently, I am fighting with him for nap time. He just got out of his crib for the second time. This time in his sleep sack. <laughs> well, it did not. Oh, so now he's just playing in his room instead of taking a nap. Hey. How are you even walking in your sleep sack? Did you go TT? Did I? No. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna put you back in your bed. Is it time to go night night and take a nap? No. Yes, sir. You can't really get far in that sleep sack. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Is it stuck in the door? That's the sleep sack backwards. Thought it would deter him. It, however, has not. I've done this with every baby. However, I didn't have a sleep sack with the other babies. So, the sleep sacks work wonders. They're Dreamland baby sleep sacks, and they're weighted based on their weight. And I know people are gonna say stuff about safety, but they've tested them, and they work with pediatricians and nurses yeah. and sleep experts. Um, so it really worked for Mav. I, we've loved it until he realized how to unzip it. So, and they are, you can flip them front to back. So we did turn it around and that worked for a little while, but now he's just a little climber. <laughs> oh, she's up. I don't <laughs> this is also coming after Lincoln's sick. He has been up for the past three nights in a row. Fever and really bad headache are kind of his only symptoms. Swollen lymph and swollen glands, but he just cannot get comfortable. And so every few minutes he's tapping me or I gotta get him Tylenol or I gotta get him water or I gotta rub his legs or I gotta rub his head or get him a cold rag. So I haven't slept in a few days, but I don't wanna complain. I don't wanna complain because Granger and London have been not sleeping, not eating, don't have a toilet. Um, so they, I have not, I have nothing to complain about, but that I'm just updating you on my last few days. So I'm, I'm not complaining because I still have a cozy bed. I still have a toilet and a restroom to use. I still have food and electricity and, and water and all the, all the blessings that we take for granted. But the, that, that is my, those are my days. And so I've had a headache for a few days taking care of, of Lincoln and Mav's been up twice a night too. So they both boys have been up like newborns again. Um, all throughout the night, so I'm just navigating that. I'm gonna go take some Excedrin right now and try to get my two-year-old to sleep. Oh, you guys, this is number four. Oh, goodness. That's the end of me getting sleep. <laughs> that was a good run. Lasted till he was two years, and what is this? August, September, October, November, December. Two years and four months before he started climbing out. So now I expect him to climb out every nap. I expect him to climb out in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna get a little doorbell on his door so I can make sure that if I don't hear him on the monitor, I'll at least hear the little doorbell. Because I don't need him roaming around in the house in the middle of the night. What did you guys do? I know we eventually switched the big the big kids to toddler beds. And then we just went through the process of taking them back to their bed every night, 
multiple times a night, especially Lincoln. Lincoln would still, Lincoln would come in. I think I took him back seven times one night. I took him back to bed seven times. What did you guys do when your kids started getting out of bed in the middle of the night? Let me know. Open the gate, sir. <clears throat> Open it. <laughs> oh, we're going to check the fire. What? What's that for? Check the On the gate? Oh, I was watching deer drinking water. We're going to go check that, uh, that fire we had with camp. No way, it's still alive. You don't think it's alive at all? No. How many days since we camped? Two days? Happy when three, did we camp? What day? Three days ago, maybe? No way it's alive after four days. Yeah. You don't think I can get it going? No. Just by touching it? No. Okay. Did you bring that black thing? No. I brought a shovel, though. Okay. No way, huh? No way, huh? No way, huh? Right over here, in the middle. Uh-oh. That's just the ash. Think so? That's just the ash. You don't think so? I don't think it can start. Well, I just want to point out, you said no way. And I want you to come feel this. Go feel that. What do you mean come feel it? Go put your hand around it. Put your hand over it. Oh, nice the row, dude. Nice the row, dude. Whoa. Look at that stick. How weird is that? Huh. There was this cedar stick down in there, and it did not burn. Look, there's even... There's even some bark right here where it didn't even burn. It was in the center of the fire. How weird is that? I break. Ah. Feel how hot that is. I know. But there's no way you can get it going. You don't think I can get it going? No. Look at it. Get this trouble? You actually might be wrong. I think, I think you can get it going. <laughs> I think you can get it going. Oh, it's going. Look at that little flame right there. I told you I can. I, I thought you could get it going. Yeah, throw some sticks on it. I just changed my mind. How crazy is that? After all this time. Four whole days. How yep. crazy is that? How crazy? How crazy is that? When are you gonna be ready to camp with this man? I'm camping this shovel. Look at that fire, buddy. Look at that. One thing we need to do is decide where we're going to camp next time. Right here. No, if we rotate spots around, it'll allow us to pick up more sticks. And then we could clear another area, you know what I mean? Let's go and check something out. Hey, Mavi, come this way. Come here. Let's go this way. Through these woods. I had an idea. A little further back. Let's look at these woods, Mavi. Come here. This? Yeah, back in there. Here. I'm gonna go get this little punk. I'll show you. Okay. Well, that is an option, but I'm thinking this way. No. Yeah. This way. This way. This way. This way. You don't know where you're going. This way. This way. This way. This way. Fine, I'll go your way. See what you're doing. You're wanting to go to the mud puddle. No. You're wanting to go to the mud puddle. No. That's what happens when it rains a lot. This little puddle fills up. No. You can't get wet. You can't get muddy. No. I know that's what you're thinking. No. You want, <laughs> yes. 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 No. Yes. No, no, no. You're just carrying that stick so you can go throw it in the mud puddle? No. Yes. You can't get muddy. 
It's extremely muddy. Was that was that worth it? No. Was it worth it? No. Yes, it was. Let's go throw the sticks in the fire. That's what helps things. This mud puddle is helping us get future dirt for the front yard. Did you know that? This is where we get our dirt for the front yard. That's, look at that, that one. It's good. He's in a new phase of saying, stop it. Stop it, we can. Stop it. I'll grab that, grab that one in the road right here. It's a good one. That one. Actually, yeah. Can you carry this, Navi? Can you carry that to the yeah. fire? Thank you. You're welcome. This, this is, this is can you carry that to the fire too? This, this no. Here, I'll carry this bigger one. Right here, take this big one. Let's go put all these in the fire. Come on. Come on. You heard a woodpecker? You got some sticks, bud? Yo. <laughs> Yo. 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 Like, no and yes combined. There we go. Boom. Throw the fire. Okay. 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 So, have you seen these giant vines? Oh, yeah. Have you seen vines? Yes. Hey, Matt, come look at these vines. I know. The, oh gosh. Look at that tree. Huge ones. Look at this one. You could actually see where it's growing out of the ground. You don't often get to see where the vines actually coming out of the ground. These two. Can you imagine this started? It's just a tiny little twig, and now it's a massive, massive vine. It goes up this cedar tree. And look at this that one. That is a massive one. Look at this one. What does this one do? Whoa! It like loops. Yeah, it goes way up there like Tarzan. But this is the beginning of it. Oh, does that got stickers on it? It's got it's got thorns on it, doesn't it? Abby, you went the wrong way. What's that? I think that's the snake. What color is that? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's blue? What color is this? Green. Yeah. Snake. No, it's not snake. Brown. Good job. See, I was thinking Link back uh -huh. here. Might be a good place to camp because there's so much debris. What about like right over here? Because look, we can camp right over here in these trees, Link. And look at all this stuff we could burn. Good spot? Like all that? That's where we're going to camp? We could, all the stuff could be cleared. That's a pretty solid spot. Yeah. It would look amazing when we're finished with it. Yeah. Right, Mav? Yeah. You ready to go back? Are you injured? No. Are you injured? No. Then why are you looking at your hand? No way. <laughs> you got poked by a thorn, didn't you? <laughs> He's tough, I'll give him that. Hey, here's another good spot. Come check out these bones. Bones? You wanna see a dead deer? Hey, right here? Yeah, yeah. dead deer right here. I think I picked Where? up a bone here before. Deer. Come here. I remember the spot we were driving by and I picked up a bone. This is probably my favorite. No. What do you think this is? The spine. Look at that. That's Look at that deer. Look at that deer. That was a dead deer. Look at that deer. You know when that deer died? In the ice storm of 2021. What? Really? Really? It got too cold. Really? So I feel like I picked up the head and the spine. <laughs> <laughs> is that a mask? No. Hey, Link, you know, I think this is a good spot right here to camp. Right here. On these blue bonnets. These are all blue bonnets in here, by the way. And maybe we should find grass, huh? But this is a good spot right here. 
It gives us lots of debris to burn. Oh my gosh, there's so many blue bonnets. And it's a pretty spot. These there's are all blue so bonnets. Look right up here's not no blue bonnets. Yeah, they're actually right here is a good spot. Soft. Good place for the tent. Start budding out in March. Wait, what season is it? Winter? <laughs> yeah, it's winter. Look right over here, you'll see tons of them. This is a whole field of blue bonnets right here. Hey, what'd you do? Did you get some bones? Can you take some bones to mama? Look at that the bones. Look at the bones. Three bones. You put them back here. You Ew, put them back here. No. I'm open the gate. Yeah. Couch. Hey, what we need to do is we need to give the doggies the bones. Okay. Can we give them those bones? Yeah. Okay. Let's drive up there with you, Bubba. Okay, let's get the dogs. Dogs, come here. Yeah, here you go. You first. You second. Get seat. Tips. There you go. Have fun with the deer bones. I don't think they eat deer. <laughs> Don't like them.